In today's video, we're going to go over how to properly brake on a dirt bike. I'm properly braking my dirt bike. I'm sorry, that's the second video in a row with a really bad joke. That's not good. You have three different forms of braking on a dirt bike. Your rear brake, your front brake, and engine braking. If you are a beginner, don't worry about using the front brake too much just yet, as it's a little more advanced. As you start to progress, use the front brake more and more until you are about 50-50 on the front and rear brake. Your ratio of front and rear brake are also determined by the type of riding dirt you're in. If it's slippery and sandy, use more rear brake, as the front brake could wash out your bike easily. If you are in nice, tacky dirt, use more front brake, as it's more effective. Always stand when you are braking, and move your foot from the ball of your feet directly towards the front brake, then back to the foot peg. As I mentioned in the how to weight your dirt bike video, there is a lot of forward force when you brake. You want to counteract that by moving your weight back as you brake. If you are braking really hard, you can move a lot of your weight back moving your hips back and down to add force to the ground. If you are just lightly braking, then just lightly move your weight back. When braking, you don't want to just pull in the clutch and apply the brake, as that eliminates all of the engine braking, which is a lot of stopping force you could be using. Instead, leave the clutch disengaged when braking to create more force and engine braking. It is important to develop good brake control so you don't stall the bike during the process. Take time to practice getting a good feel of your rear brake and finding out where that point up too much is at. The best way to tell if you are properly braking is to listen for a chattering sound as you brake. 